everyone, this is Isla from Hot Essentials and today I'm going to go over how I make my bath salts. There's very few ingredients so I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so the main ingredients are Epsom salt and baking soda. I'm also going to be using some essential oils. So I have my rosemary and I also have my peppermint and I do have some rose petals and some saffron just to make it look much more pretty okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do is apply my gloves and then after that I'm gonna spray down my equipment with 50-50 water and isopropyl alcohol Okay, so right now I'm measuring out the ingredients. I'm gonna put a few cups of Epsom salt. Sorry, it's kind of like a hard piece in here, so I'm trying to break it down. But as you can see, I have a measuring cup. It's been clean. I wanna put three cups in there. Add one half cup of baking soda, approximately. Half, pour it in. I also forgot to mention that for my oil, I am going to use Tamanu oil. Sorry about that. So I'm just going to pour a little bit inside of the mixture just so I can wet my ingredients and they can kind of just stay clumped and nice together. It has like a rich dark green color in here as you can see. I'm also going to add my rosemary essential oil. However many drops you want to put. So I added five droppers full of the rosemary and then now I'm going to add the peppermint oil. So I'm going to add five droppers of that as well. Okay. I'm going to add some saffron, dried flowers. Okay. So this is kind of what they look like. They're from Costco. Just add as much as you like. Okay, I'm gonna add a few of these rose petals. Just make sure that if you do add it in, that it might, it might create a clog in your tub. Totally up to you. You can choose to add Nika powder or some sort of food powder that you choose to um, color, add color to your salts. That is totally optional. It is not necessary. So this is what everything looks like. I'm just gonna stir. So 
the next step is to bag your bath salts. These are the bags that I'm going to be using. They do have a, um, a Ziploc closure at the very top. I will link these to the box down below. So I am just beginning to put the bath salts inside of the bag. Fill it up to the max. So I just wanted to include this clip because I know I don't show that I weigh my products but I do weigh them just to make sure that the quantity is the same or near the same. So right now I'm just showing you a clip of me weighing all of my bags. Um, now that all of the bath salts are all packaged, I am getting ready to print my labels or I'm printing them right now. So the dimensions of the labels are 3 inches in width and 4 inches in height. Okay, so my labels for the front part of my packaging is finally done. These are 1.5 inches, the dimension. Um, so I like to have a sticker in the front and the back and since it is like kind of a small package, I didn't want to... Um, just make it look too cluttered so I figured it would look better with just a small circle so it's basically just um a shorter version of my name which is um Ha Essentials so it's a capital H and E and um this is what the label looks like in the back same logo um so it, it tells you what the bath salt is used for how to use it and what the ingredients are So while I was adding my labels to my packaging, I did think to myself that it would have been so much more easier to apply the labels before I had added my bath salts in there. So for anyone that is, you know, deciding to make some bath salts, I would suggest that you put your labels on first so that when you put your labels on, you know, it's not all crinkled. So thank you for watching. This is the end result. Really simple to make. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, stay tuned for next week.